anything on our phone since we keep leaving our cameras places that we can't use them. Minimalists, what do you do about things that you need to use once in a while, but you don't necessarily want to keep it around your home? This uh, past week we went for a bunch of baby clothes and we got rid of some, but we ended up storing more than what we thought we would want to store. What do you do with that kind of stuff? Some of the things that we use very infrequently, but that we do need sometimes, you don't necessarily want to have to go out and buy it. Stuff like tools, a truck for example, a truck is a kind of big deal. We don't, we're not going to own a truck probably anytime soon, but it's definitely something that we need sometimes. You did warm up to the idea, huh? Well, I've <laughs> recently been in a truck that I kind of liked. It was roomy and very nice. Anyways, stuff like for painting, sports equipment, sometimes that can be something that you don't use very often. It just depends on the type of sport, obviously. Another thing would be books. Obviously, you can borrow from the library. And in this day and age, you can borrow even online. I think one of the biggest problems that people tend to have is that they keep things because what if we need it someday? And it seems easier if you already have it to just keep it as opposed to thinking about having to go out and buy it again. Yet it takes up so much space. There are certain things that you of course can rent. Another option would be maybe to buy something for the job that you need it and then just turn around and sell it right away as soon as you're done with the job on Craigslist or eBay or something like that. Of course, you can always borrow stuff depending on where you live, depending on the kind of community or family that you have around. I always feel a little bit weird just relying on that mentality of, oh, we can just borrow it because that feels to me a little bit like mooching off of someone. It feels a little bit like a cop-out sometimes. However, I did think, what about if the kind of things that you want to borrow, you just give them as a gift to somebody and be like, here, in the back of your mind, you're thinking, store this for me and on. maybe I can come back and borrow it from you when I need it. Aren't you then just mooching their storage? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but hey, if they don't care, if they're not minimalists, honestly, I think, I feel like the best way of doing things would be living in a community That's of people. Like a communal living type of situation where you have one lawnmower and one this and one that and everybody can just use them as need be. That would be, I think, our personal favorite solution and we situation. Don't, we don't necessarily have to have like a, communi a communal house and everything. We can have like a big lot or whatever and then have a bunch of tiny houses there. That would I would awesome. like that. And then like maybe a big community center or, where you can do parties and stuff like that. Or a communal, that. like a kitchen or something like that. And then yeah. everybody could eat together or something like that. That would be, I think, our ideal. Does anybody want to make a tiny house community? That would rock. Obviously, you would want to have the right kind of people in it that aren't going to be butts about the stuff. <laughs> and like they have super to be anal and or super sloppy. Good cooks too. Ideally, we would have some good cooks. Like some doctors, maybe. Uh, <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> um, who else do we need in our community? Some tech people. We could be sort of tech people, I guess. Maybe. Musicians? Musicians. Well, yeah. It would be awesome to have a bunch of musicians and a bunch of creators. Oh, yeah. Chiropractor would be nice. <laughs> That's kind of our ideal for how to handle those kind of items that you just don't use that often. Let us know in the comments below what you think about our ideal and or what you do with that kind of stuff. Do you want to be part of our community? Just put yes or no. I guess no or maybe. Do you have anything to say, goobers? 